In this video, we are going to show you how to set up a high definition wireless camera system using access points and IP cameras. Here we have an HD 2 megapixel outdoor IP bullet camera. You will need to locate the RJ45 network port and the 12 volt DC power connector on the camera's pigtail. You will be connecting the camera to a wireless access point. You can use a 2.4 GHz or 5.8 GHz wireless access point in client radio mode such as this which has a built-in flat panel antenna. On the back of the access point there is a wireless signal indicator which tells you the strength of your wireless signal. When this access point is on you will see it light green on the left hand side. When you have it paired to a receiving access point it will light yellow and red towards the right. On the bottom there are two network connection ports. The port labeled main is the PoE port which provides power from the power injector and the secondary is a data port that connects to the camera's network jack. Looking at the back of the wireless radio, the access point we are using here should be pole mounted using the built in mounts on the back. We suggest using PVC pipe to make sure it does not become a lightning attractor. There is a C-clamp included with the radio in the box, but you may need additional hardware which you can get from a local hardware store. This is the power injector that connects the ac to the access point. There are two ports on the bottom, LAN and PoE. The PoE port provides power to the access point and the LAN port connects to the camera to relay data from the camera to the access point. The injector gets connected to a 110 volt power source using the AC cord and provides 48 volt PoE current to the access point. The camera connects to an AC-DC 12 volt power supply. Here's a 1 amp 12 volt DC power adapter. Connect that to an AC outlet and a DC connector to the camera's 12 volt DC connector. If you are planning to use these with solar panels, you will need to account for the fact that you will need an inverter to DC, or if you have an AC source available that would be best. The power supplies are 110 to 220 volt compatible. First connect your power supply to the camera's DC 12 volt power input. Next plug one end of your network cable into the camera's network port, the other end to the power injector's LAN port. Then using a second network cable, plug one end into the main port on the access point, the other end to the PoE port on the power injector. As you can see in our demonstration, the blue cable is connected from the PoE port on the power injector to the main port of the access point. The gray cable is connected from the LAN port of the power injector to the network port of the IP camera. Next, connect the power injector and the camera's power adapter to your AC outlet. You should see the LEDs on the back of the access point come on. This radio has already been pre-configured and paired to another access point acting as the receiver, which is connected to our NVR. Note that these radios do not come pre-configured. If you are experienced at wireless networking, you can configure them yourself or purchase them pre-configured from us. Here you can see how to connect the bullet access point to our NVR. On the right we have a monitor connected to our NVR. This is the wireless antenna we are using, but you can choose to use any of our compatible antennas. With the right setup, it's possible to transmit and receive signal from up to 5 miles away with line of sight. Bullet is connected to the antenna using a special cable assembly. The bullet is receiving power from the PoE injector. The injector is sending data and power to the bullet from the power supply and from the data cable connected to the NVR. The signal will travel from the NVR to the bullet to the antenna and then transmitted to the access point which is connected to the camera. Once everything is connected correctly, you can use the IP search function under remote device and your NVR to find a list of supported devices connected to the network. Simply select the device, click add, and the camera feed will appear in the selected channel. Once the camera has been added, 
you can open up the main menu and go to encode to change the settings on the camera. Here you can adjust the resolution and bitrate along with other settings. Lowering the bitrate for your cameras will allow you to support multiple cameras on one wireless access point. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook. Thank you for watching.